Lovely. There's so much to talk about. I want to go to your morning must read, and I want to bring it over to me, the most interesting guy in Washington. Let's go to the morning uh, must read right now. And this is on the attorney that few know. Mark Kasowitz represented Mr. Trump when the president sued me, that would be Mr. O'Brien, in 2006. The attorney claimed the New York Times had published an article about Comey Trump conversations prior to Trump's tweet. Kasowitz was wrong, however. The Times' first article about the conversations appeared on May 16th, four days after Trump. So that's the minutia of all this. Give us a big picture on the president's attorney. Well, he is, he is like many of the people around the president. He's a pit bull. Uh, often they don't end up in court. I think Trump has retained him over the years to intimidate people. <clears throat> and, and there's a large circle of people like that uh, in, in the president's business life and, and now in his political life. Is his real job after the process of being a bull to pit is he the one that sits down with Donald Trump and says, no, you've got to settle, and is that going to occur in this administration? I, I think the issue here is I, I, I don't think he's a guy who comes in first and says, you got to settle. He's a guy who comes in first and says, you got to fight. Mm -hmm. uh, when we litigated with him, he had no experience in libel law. I had very good attorneys, Mary Jo White of Dubois Boys and Plimpton, and uh, they, they cleaned his clock in court. He represented the president uh, on the Trump University case. They lost that badly. He's now representing him in, a, in, a, in the midst of a big congressional investigation around subjects that he doesn't have a lot of, hasn't had a lot of experience with. And I think uh, Tim, the issue is, go ahead, Francine. Sorry. No, no, go ahead. Finish your thought. Well, I think the issue is whether or not he's up to speed right now at this moment where he can be a good advocate for the president when he's got no experience in this, yeah. in this realm. So how does he, who does he listen to to regroup, rethink, and move forward? Uh, does the president need to do that or Kasowitz? I'm sorry, I didn't take your question. Yeah, the president. Well, of course he does. I mean, I think the issue right now is, is the president needs to be strategically uh, disciplined, intellectually disciplined, emotionally disciplined. He needs to build a strong team around him. And, and he hasn't had that thus far during his administration. It stalled tax reform, it stalled regulatory reform, it stalled the health care bill, and now he's mired in this Russian investigation that's only going to be addressed head-on if he's got good counsel.